I flow. Blonde, 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 blonde. I flow. Greetings from Dubai. I'm presenting the Rugby World Cup for the OSN Sports Network over here. It's why I can't be with you at the O2. I'm absolutely delighted that we're about to hear the first bell on Box Nation. It's a brave and ambitious project. It is great news for the sport that boxing is going to have its own dedicated channel. From my point of view, I'll do everything I can to make Box Nation a raging success. The talk of the nation, if you like. Now you're going to have to forgive me, it is 41 degrees over here, I'm going to have to get out of this sun. Pass the O2. Cheers. Well, good afternoon everybody and welcome to Box Nation's first ever press conference. I would like to thank you all uh, very much for coming today, you're all very welcome. And I'd particularly like to thank our boxers here today for coming to support us. Thanks guys, um, we'll be talking later in the press conference about how um, they're going to get involved in the channel going forward. But firstly let me introduce myself, I'm Richard Brook, I'm chairman of Boxing Channel Media and we are the owners and operators of Britain's first ever boxing channel. Box Nation, today we can announce, we'll be launching on Friday the 30th of September at 7pm. It'll be available on Sky Channel 456 and we'll announce further distribution deals as time goes on, including with Virgin Media. So I'll tell you now a little bit about the channel and how you get it. Then I'm going to hand over to Simon Green, who's the chief executive of Box Nation, and he'll tell you about the content of the channel. And then I'm going to hand over to Frank Warren, and we're delighted to be working with Frank on this channel. And Frank will tell us about the promotions that he's putting on and the boxes that are involved in the channel. So, Box Nation um, will be, um, we'll start off, it'll be a free to air channel. Um, so, as I say, channel 456. And we'll go free to air for the first month or so of operation and then it'll go on to a pay basis um, towards the end of the year. It'll be £10 a month and it'll be a simple uh, registration basis through an online process. It's uh, a UK channel, so it'll be available all over the, all over the country through the uh, Sky platform. Um, and again, uh, we're looking at plans for international expansion uh, once we've established a base here in the UK. Our audience is uh, very much the mainstream boxing fan. We know there are 5 million boxing fans in the UK and of course that number swells when you've got the really big fights on as well. So we think that's a loyal and committed audience and we think that's an audience that's underserved by boxing on television at present. We think there's uh, far more demand uh, and we're looking to fill that in a very innovative and exciting way. Boxing fans um, typically are a young, um, young audience profile and they're very committed to the, sport, to the sport, so we're delighted to be able to bring them a product um, that they deserve. I'll tell you a bit about uh, the company behind um, Box Nation, uh, Boxing Channel Media. Um, we put together um, uh, a very good cast list for this. Um, the channel is going to be operated by people with a lot of experience in the field. Um, both myself and Simon have come through Sky and, and also Satanta um, and will be assisted by some of the best um, firms in the business including Input Media who are here today who will be providing um, the facilities and broadcast services. Um, the, one of the, we can also tell you uh, a little bit about the backing of the channel. Um, 
Boxing Channel Media is, uh, is supported by Zoom Communications, um, which is a large um, Southeast Asian company and the leading provider of broadcast services in that region. Um, and in the press pack that uh, we're handing out, you'll see that we've got some backup information about that as well. So we've got a good lineup of, um, we've got a great lineup of boxing. We've got an experienced team behind it. We've got good, strong backing. And we're very much looking forward from Friday, the 30th of September, to a very exciting future. Now I'm going to ask Simon now to uh, tell us a little bit more um, about the, the, the channel content. Thank you, Richard. Um, you'll all see from your, your press packs uh, the extent of the fantastic live content that we uh, are scheduling on the channel as of uh, next Friday, 30th of September. Uh, apart from Frank Warren events um, and 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 uh, we have the Golden Boy uh, from the US signed. We have Sauerland uh, signed from Germany. Um, the amount of live content that we intend to uh, put out on the channel on a weekly basis um, will be uh, approximately uh, two promotions every week. Um, this is what we intend uh, to fill the channel with as, 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 as far as the main element of the content is concerned. <laughs> Um, and we, we intend to, to, to stick to that. Um, it's an extremely exciting lineup of, uh, of live events that we've uh, put into the press pack that you'll see going from now through to uh, December. Um, other content that will appear on the channel, uh, I'm delighted to, to, uh, to say that uh, we're reviving uh, Bunsey's Boxing app. I'm sure many of you used to watch that on, on Satanta Sports News. Uh, it's a terrific, it was a terrific show, a terrific following, um, and it will become part of the uh, regular schedule. Uh, we also intend to uh, put out on a daily basis uh, a boxing news update, um, just to provide viewers with uh, all the latest news from around the world of boxing. Um, uh, uh, every day uh, we intend to uh, put out on the channel uh, mixed martial arts, uh, we're not shying away from that. Uh, there'll be no eight-year-olds fighting in cages or anything like that, but we, we, we will uh, give proper attention to mixed martial arts uh, and combat sports uh, like that. Presentation-wise, as uh, you saw from the, the VT that we, we, we ran at the top, um, Jim Rosenthal uh, has committed to the channel and, and will be our lead presenter. Uh, we're absolutely thrilled that he's, he's involved. He's an extremely uh, experienced broadcaster, as are uh, the other um, uh, members of our, our talent that we've got lined up, um, including Paul Dempsey, uh, who many of you will, will remember from his days at Sky uh, and Satanta, uh, Steve Bunce, who I've already mentioned, uh, and, and who we believe is the, uh, the, the best commentator uh, in, in the world of boxing, uh, John Rawlings, who I'm delighted to say, along with Steve, uh, is here today. Uh, it will be an evolving channel schedule. Uh, that's exactly what the nature of boxing is. It's, it's a sport that re requires us to, to, to be uh, reactive to what's going on in the world of boxing um, uh, almost on a, a daily basis to make sure that we can keep the schedule um, entertaining and up to date. Uh, and, and provide our viewers with exactly what they want. Um, the channel w is really a celebration of the art of boxing. That's what we, we, we want it to be. We've got uh, various taglines that uh, we, we feel embrace and embody the, the, the nature of the, of the channel, what it is. The three taglines are grace and glory, life with guts, and birth of a nation. So I'm going to hand you over to uh, uh, Frank Warren, who's going to give you a bit more information about um, the upcoming fight schedule and the boxers who we've got here today. <coughs> Thanks, Simon. Thank you, Simon. <coughs> um, for me, it's, this is a bit of a dream come true. For many, many years, I've always felt that boxing, is, although it has been served by 
um, television companies in the UK has basically fitted in and had to fit in around other sports. This is a dedicated channel. This channel is all about boxing, it's about our sport. There's a great live audience out there who wants to see the best fights and we believe that we're going to bring those fights from around the world to the British viewers. We have a fabulous schedule lined up here. Um, starts on 30th of September and I'm going to read through them very quickly. They're in the press pack, but as you see, we open up Spiritual Home of Boxing at your call, Liam Walsh, v. Paul Wappenhoff for the Commonwealth Super Featherweight title. Then we're going to amateur boxing. On Wednesday, the 5th through to the 8th of October, there'll be the World Amateur Championships live from Azerbaijan. Uh, quarterfinals on the Wednesday, semis on the Friday, and the finals on Saturday, October. Saturday, the 1st of October, we'll be in Germany for a unification match between Steve Cunningham and Pablo Hernandez. That is uh, provided by Salon Promotions, who Box Nation have done a three-year exclusive deal with for all their shows, including their archive, because there'll be a lot of archive content on the, on the channel. You'll be seeing a lot of old fights, uh, some of the best fights from around, fighters from around the world, some of the fights that you may recall from the going back to, to the days of the 60s and, and 70s and 80s, all the way through some great, great fights for the fans to see. We then go to the Royal Albert Hall, the first boxing to be held at Royal Albert Hall for the, I think for 12 or 13 years, uh, for the Royal Albert Hall Cup. It's an event between the UK Combined Services against the US Armed Forces and the winner will get the Royal Albert Hall Cup. It'll be an annual event. Um, delighted again that we're, 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 the Box Nation is getting involved and in getting behind the amateur sport because without the amateurs, they won't be the professionals. They've got to start somewhere, so it's, it's fabulous for us. Um, the night before the show, which will be on the 6th of October, um, the Prime Minister and his wife will be holding a um, reception at Downing Street for the participants, so we're pleased about that. Then we go for the biggie on the 15th of October, double header live up to the Liverpool Echo Arena, fight that everybody's been waiting for, WBO light heavyweight title between Nathan Cleverley and Tony Bellew, both here today, and then the European and WBO Intercontinental super middleweight title, fight between Prieta Wilczewski, the champion against James DeGale. Great show, great fights, fabulous undercard, and to give you even more, we then go over to the Staples Center into, into the States to see the WBC light heavyweight title fight between Bernard Hopkins and Chad Dawson. Cracking fight, and what we're looking for, I'm sure you'll get it, is that the winner of our, our big fight fights the winner of their big fight. They're the type of fights that we want to bring to the fans. The following week, we've got, um, the following week we've got Robert Norton fighting Leon Williams. Then we go back to Germany for a, group, for a unification match between Marco Huck and uh, Wojaglek. Friday, 28th of October, Frankie Gavin fighting the number four in the world, Gabriel Scabez from uh, Argentina. Then we've got a big night at Wembley, again a live double header. We start off at, at Wembley with Ricky Burns versus, versus Michael Castillas for the WBO interim title. Then George Groves is going to fight Paul Smith for the British and Commonwealth title. Ryan Walsh against Liam Richards for the uh, English title. And in between that, we've got the WBO middleweight, sorry, double WBO super middleweight title between Mikel Kessler and Robert Stiglitz. And again, it doesn't take a lot of working out to see where we're going with the super middleweights that we're involved with to get the winner along the line in with that fight. And there are many other fights that we'll be announcing towards the end. Uh, sorry, Lee Selby will be fighting John Simpson, Simpson on the 18th of October, and many other fights that we'll be announcing in due course. Um, as Simon says, there'll be some mixed martial arts, which will be a, 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 a further announcement about that in the future. I feel London, 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 London. I feel London, London, London.